on Top Class today. Ben, Sophia, Dan and Alicia playing for Greenland Primary School from County Durham. And competing against them are Aaron, Layla, Miles and Grace from Melbourne Primary School from County Londonderry. But who will be top class? Welcome to Top Class, the search for the UK's smartest school. Let's meet our teams for this quarter-final. First up, last time they were here, they won their heat 22 to 21. After the show, they celebrated by walking through the wood at Kilhope Leadmine to a scary old cottage and were told that if they didn't do better in their science questions, they would have to spend the night there. <laughs> Quarter-finalist in Top Class, Sophia, how does that feel? Feels great. When you went back to school, was everyone really pleased? Yeah. You got through to the quarterfinals, yeah? Dan, tell me, who have you got sitting next to you? Lucky Lukey. Lucky Lukey. And that's the team mascot. Yeah. We named him after our, our reserve player, Luke. Oh, lovely. And uh, you're the team captain. You captained your team to the quarterfinals. That must have felt good, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Alicia, welcome back. Your tactic is to be fast on the buzzer, Alicia. Yeah. Have you been practising? A little bit. A little bit. I'll say now and then pretend to press the buzzer, OK? You ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> no! Yes. <laughs> Reactions of a cat, Alicia. Well done. <laughs> Please welcome Greenland Community Primary School from County Durham. <laughs> and playing against them are Milburn. They won their heat 27 points to 24, which their teacher, Mr McLean, said was all down to the three points he scored for them. <laughs> Aaron, welcome back to Top Class. What subjects did you enjoy in Top Class last time? Probably just the free throw buzzer round. That was because it can be very exciting uh, when the scores are quite close. Layla, captain mm -hmm. of Melbourne, have you changed what you're going to do with your team today or are you happy you've got a winning formula? Well, I'm happy we've got a winning formula. All you really have to do is remain calm. Geography is a bad one for you, though. Yes, geography is awful. That's a no-go area. It's a no-go area. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see what happens if it comes up. And finally, Grace, how about your buzzer technique? Have you been practising, Grace? Yeah. Yes, Grace, I knew you had to. I'm going to do the same thing. Are you ready? You ready, Grace? You ready? You ready? You ready? Now. <laughs> yes, look at that. Firm, firm. There you go. <laughs> we'll see if that comes in handy, Grace. Please welcome Melbourne Primary School from County London today. <laughs> Let's go on with round one. Here's your first control question. Anyone can buzz in, but I have to accept your first answer, OK? The subject is... History. Who is next in line to the British throne after His Royal Highness Prince Charles? Leila. Prince William. Is the correct answer, yes. Leila. Well done. You've won control of the game. This game is all about key events in history and, in particular, working out which happened first. So, first question. The completion of which of these two historical structures happened first? The Pyramids of Giza or Stonehenge? I think it's the Pyramids of Giza because it's ancient Egyptians. Right, right Giza. well, we go with that. Just because yeah. I know about ancient Egypt, just go OK, with that. Um, we're going to go with the completion of the Pyramids of Giza. You're saying the Pyramids of Giza came first. Let's put that on the board. Second question. What happened first? The coronation of Queen Elizabeth II or the election of Sir Winston Churchill as Prime Minister for the first time? I think it's the coronation of Queen Elizabeth. Go sure, ahead. Winston Go Churchill. Yeah. No, but Winston. No, but Winston Churchill. Was... Sure, World War II. Yeah. That was World War II. World War II started in 1913, so... Yeah. Well, we go... Right, Winston well, Churchill. Uh, right, we're going to go with Winston Churchill. So you're saying the election of Sir Winston Churchill as Prime Minister for the first time happened first. Question three. What happened first, Queen Victoria's reign or the discovery 
of penicillin. Queen Victoria's reign because penicillin was invented in like the 1950s. Go, go. Queen Victoria's reign. Queen Victoria's reign. Go, uh, Queen Victoria's reign. Queen Victoria's reign. You're saying happened first. And finally, what happened first? Richard III as King of England or Henry VIII as King of England? King Henry VIII, he was Tudor time, so that was like 15. So when was Richard III? Who's Richard the Third? Go Henry VIII. Right, we'll go with Henry VIII. You're saying Henry VIII is King of England. So there are your answers. Let's see how many you got right. Oh, well done. You got four points in that round, Milburn. Well done. So at the end of that round, Melbourne have four points, Green Lions have nothing yet, but there's loads of time. Give them both a round of applause. <laughs> there's everything still to play for in the game. Let's carry on. The next subject is... Maths. Here is your control question. What is triple 17? Layla. I need your answer. Oh, um, I need your answer. 51. That's the correct answer, Leila. Well done. You now have control of the game. It's time to test your mathematical knowledge a little further, and in particular, this game is all about naming different shapes. Here's your first question. What is the name of this shape? Hexagon. 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 You're saying hexagon. Let's see if that's right. It is right, well done. How about this shape? What name is given to it? Rectangle. Rectangle. Let's see if that's right. It is right, well done. Third question. What name is given to this particular type of triangle? Equilateral triangle. Equilateral. No, no, no. Yes, because yes. it's all the same angles. Yes, it is. Yeah, the lines are all the yes. same. Yes. Right, well, we go with equilateral. Yeah. Yes. Equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle, let's see if that's right. It is right, well done. And finally, what is the name of this quadrilateral shape? Um, it oh, is, is it a parallelogram? parallelogram. Yeah, it's parallelogram, because then the sides, yep. yeah. left and right, apart, right. top and bottom. Parallelogram. parallelogram. You're saying parallelogram. Let's see if that is right. It is right, well done, Milburn. Five points you got in that round. Well done. <laughs> So at the end of that round, Milburn have nine points. Greenland yet to score, but there's plenty of time. Give them a round of applause. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Sophia, how would you have done with the shapes round? I thought we would have got them all. You would have got them all. Dan, agreed? Yeah. Yeah? Let's move on to the next subject, and it is... Geography. miles. <laughs> Here is your control question. Remember, I can only accept your first answer. The United Kingdom is located in which continent? Leila. Europe. Correct answer, Leila. Well done. You've won control of the game. This game is all about trying to identify a country of the world from a map. Here is the first question. Which European country is this? It's Greece. Greece. Sure. Yes. Sure. Yes. yes. Greece. Greece. You're saying Greece. See if that's right. It is right. Well done. Second question. Which Asian country is this? I don't know. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. No, no, no. Afghanistan. You're saying Afghanistan. Let's see if that's right. It's Iran. Third question. Which Asian country is this? Japan, Japan, Japan. Japan. You're saying Japan? Yep. Let's see if that's right. It is right, well done. And finally, which European country is this? Latvia. 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 Yeah, Latvia. Latvia. You're saying Latvia, let's see if that's right. It is right, well yeah. done. And at the end of that round, Milburn, you got yourself oh. four points. Well done. So at the end of that round, Milburn have 13 points, Greenland yet to score, but there's loads of time. Give them both a round of applause. <laughs> Miles, on it like a bonnet. <laughs> Greece, Japan, Japan, Japan. 
good round for you? Yes, very good round. And uh, there's plenty of time uh, to keep scoring points in top class. And next up, it's my favourite round, I have to say. It's time to <laughs> test the teacher. <laughs> Greenland, who have you brought with you? We brought Miss Stamper. Miss Stamper. And why have you brought Miss Stamper with you? Cos she was fun and always excited. Alicia, have you done anything to help Miss Stamper? We've been having a look at different CBBC programmes and um, listening to the music quite a lot to see what different music songs. So, essentially, you've been having a large discotheque in Greenland School for the past, you know, wee while. That sounds excellent. Well, we'll see how she does. It's time to test the teacher. Bring in Miss Stamper! <laughs> So, Miss Stamper, last time you were on top class, you got five points. Yeah, five points. <laughs> were you pleased with that? Um, yeah, I was pleased. I'd like to get a bit more this time. Right. <laughs> so, fingers crossed. And um, <laughs> have you been researching, revising? Kind of, yeah. I've been listening to the top 40. <laughs> <laughs> the top 40, right. Religiously. Yeah. And I have been watching a bit of telly. Right. And the kids have been testing me all the time, so... Have they just been jumping out in corridors and shouting? Yeah. Yeah. Who sings this song? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Are you feeling quite confident? Um, yeah. OK, you have 60 seconds on the clock. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Start the clock. Everything is Awesome is a song from which animated movie? Pass. The Lego movie. Louise Pentland is a British fashion and beauty vlogger best known as what? Pass. Sprinkle of glitter. In text speak, I-L-Y stands for which term of affection? I love you. Correct. Anna Kendrick appeared in which 2012 a cappella singing group Pitch film? Perfect. Correct. Which band sings this song? All I need is a little love in my life. All I need is a little love in the dark. A little but I'm hoping oh, that I can't Oh, Alfred, Lawson, Lawson. No, it's Rixton. Fifth Harmony were put together on the American version of what reality show? The X Factor. Correct. What are fans of Sherlock Holmes called? Sherlockites. No, Sherlockians. In which sport might you slam dunk a ball? Basketball. Correct. Aubrey Graham is the real name of which Canadian rapper? Drake. Correct. What is the first name of the host of Matilda and the Ramsay Bunch's famous chef father? Gordon. Correct. Well done, Miss Stamper. <laughs> In top class, you have beaten your previous score. You got six points, oh. Miss Stamper. <laughs> Started off a bit rocky, yeah. but then you got into it. You got into it. <laughs> Drake, where did that come from, Miss Stamper? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> you did incredibly well. Are you pleased? Really pleased. Really pleased. Do you know pleased. what? You absolutely should be, Miss Stamper. You've done your school proud. But for now, you are dismissed. <laughs> OK, Melbourne, who have you brought with you and why? Um, we've brought Mr McLean, a.k.a. Superman, just because he is Superman in school. <laughs> Aaron, does Mr McLean make you call him that? No. Um, Superman? No. Mainly we get it from World Book Day when he wore a Superman costume. Did he? Yeah. Did anyone ask him to? No. Um, no. We don't know. <laughs> he only got three points last time, Grace. Do you think he's going to do better this time? I absolutely think he will. Well, let's see, because it's time to test the teacher. Bring in Mr. McLean! <laughs> Hi, Mr. McLean. Hello there, Susan. How, How are, you? are you? I'm very well. Very well. Now, apparently, you believe that Milburn did well because of the three points you won for them last time. Well, it did put that notion in the children's heads, so. Um... Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll take a bit of credit this time. Yeah, take a bit. Yeah. Um, are you confident? Reasonably. Reasonably <laughs> confident, <laughs> Mr McLean. So you have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can. Start the clock. Who does the character Bella marry in the Twilight Saga? Uh, pass. Edward. Shakira sings on the soundtrack to which 2016 animated movie? Um, Zootropolis. That's correct. YouTuber Colleen Ballinger Evans is better known as playing what online character? Pass. Miranda sings. What kind of animal is the main character in the film, Babe? 
the pig. Correct. Which male artist sings this song? Uh, Bruno Mars. Correct. Toe touches and hair keys are jumps that are performed by which kind of sports person? Gymnast. No, cheerleader. Will I Am is a member of which band? Um, like a piece. Correct. Pop star Sean Mendes attracted a following by posting covers on which social media platform? Twitter. Fine. George is the younger brother of what cartoon pig? Peppa. Correct. What 2007 movie tells the story of a rat who wishes to be a chef? That a That's correct. Oh, well done. <laughs> Mr. McLean, you have managed to double the points you scored in the last round. You got six points, Thank Mr. You. McLean. There were a few moments where yeah. you were squirming a little bit trying to get the answer to the questions. Yeah. yeah. But you did well. I'm very, very proud of myself. I can walk out of here with my head held high. You can. Yeah. Well done, Mr. McLean. You've Thank done you. brilliantly, but for now, you are dismissed. Thank you. So at the end of that round, Melbourne have 19 points. Greenland catching up on six points. He did all right for you this time, Mr McLean, didn't he? That's why I called him Superman. <laughs> he did really well, Leila. Yeah, he was, like, more in the zone this time. More 2016. <laughs> more 2016. And uh, Greenland, Miss Stamper. She always comes up with the goods for you, though, Alicia, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she did great. Let's move on. And this time, teams, you're back in the spotlight again. It's time for pet subject. <laughs> Greenland, you're going first. What's your pet subject? The Premier League. The Premier League, 2015-2016. Yeah. Yes, great. So you have 30 seconds on the clock. Start the clock. In 2015, Watford, Bournemouth and which other club were promoted to the Premier League? Ben. Norwich. Correct. What was the last club that Jurgen Klopp managed before coming Liverpool boss in 2015? Ben. Richard Dortmund. Correct. Which Dutchman was the first Premier League manager to leave their club in the 2015-16 season? Ben. Dick Amacat. That's correct. What nationality is Liverpool FC's striker Roberto Firmino? Ben. Brazilian. That's the correct answer, Ben. Well done. <laughs> Storming performance from Ben there. Greenland, you got yourselves four points. Well done. Brilliant. Ben, I take it you quite like football? Yeah. Yeah? What, what team do you support? Sunderland. Sunderland. And you knew all of those answers straight away? Yes. Yeah? Well, well done, Ben. Now, Milburn, it's time for your pet subject. Leila, what subject have you chosen? European capitals. European capitals. 30 seconds on the clock. Starting now. The River Liffey flows through which capital city, starting with D? Grace. Dublin. Correct. What is the official language spoken in the city of Madrid? Grace. Spanish. Correct. The Louvre is an iconic museum which is found in what capital city? Leila. Paris. Correct. Belgrade is the capital city of which European country? Serbia. Miles. Say it again. Serbia. Correct. In what capital city would you find the Trevi Fountain? Trevi. Miles. Oslo. No, the answer was Rome, but at the end of that round, you got yourself four points as well. Well done, Melbourne. <laughs> Storming performance from you, Grace. You knew a lot of those answers straight away. Did you enjoy that round? Yeah, that was quite fun. Yeah, you did well there. So, at the end of that round, Melbourne have 23 points. Greenland catching up on 10 points. <laughs> OK, on with the game. The next subject is... English. Oh, yes. Here is your control question. In the sentence, the footballer David Lewis has curly hair, which word is the adjective? Leila. Curly. Is the correct answer, Leila? Well done. You now have control of the game. In a second, you'll see an incomplete word on the screen and you need to fill in the gaps. First up, can you spell the word textile? T-E-X-T-I-L-E. Right. T-E-X-T-I-L-E. T-E-X-T-I-L-E. 
Um, in the gap, there's L. Is the correct answer. Yeah. What about the word diagonal? D I A G O N A L is the correct answer. Well done. The next word is punctuate. P U N. Is that it? Is it P? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. P U N C um, T U A T E. Correct answer. Finally, can you spell referendum? Oh, yeah, like the Oh, yes. Where? Where? Okay. That's it. Yes. Yes. Okay. R E F E R E N D U M. It's the correct answer. Well done, Melbourne. You got yourself five points at the end of that round. Well done. So, at the end of that round, Melbourne have 28 points and Greenland have 10 points. Grace, all I'm going to say is the way you threw that pad at Leila, that's how you spell referendum, <laughs> was exceptional, Grace. You knew it and you said, just, just say it, Leila. <laughs> yeah. Well done. And the next subject is news. Oh, yes. <laughs> Here is your control question. In which English city is the FA Cup final currently held? Aaron. London. It's the correct answer. Well done. Well done. You now have control of the game. Inside this newspaper are some questions for you to answer. First question. In April 2016, Prince George stayed up past his bedtime in order to meet which head of state? I, I saw a picture of Prince George with Obama. Obama. Obama! You're saying Obama? Yeah. Let's see if that is right. It is yes, right, well yes. done. What is the first name and surname of this politician? Pass. Pass. You don't know that one? Nope. It's Hillary Clinton. Which American singer fell over on stage at the 2015 Brit Awards due to a wardrobe malfunction? Madonna. It's Madonna. Don't. I know this one. It's Madonna. Madonna. Madonna, you're saying? Yep. See if that's right. Yes. It is right. <sighs> and finally, which team was the first to be relegated from the English Premier League in 2016. Aston Villa. Very confidently, Aston Villa, Leela says. <laughs> See if that's right. It is yes. right, well done, you got four points there, Milburn. Well done. <laughs> so at the end of that round, Milburn have 32 points, Greenland have 10 points. <laughs> well, there's still all to play for because it's time for the final round, the last chance to bag some points. It's Battle of the Buzzers. 90 seconds on the clock for both teams to answer as many questions as you can. Start the clock. Who was Henry VIII's last wife? Dan. Catherine Rapal. Correct. Who was the first man to walk on the moon? Leila. Neil Armstrong. Correct. Which Spanish football team play their home games at the Nou Camp? Aaron. Barcelona. Correct. How many inches are there in a foot? Aaron. Is it 12? Correct. In which county is the soap opera Emmerdale set? Miles. Um, pass. It, oh. can, I can offer it across. Does anyone know? Mm. It's Yorkshire. In the book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what is the surname of the very spoiled girl with the first name Veruca? Miles. Um, is it Veruca Salt? That's correct. In 2015, which Jamaican athlete was floored by a camera operator riding a Segway, Ben? Uh, Usain Bold. That is correct. Well done. What countries are mad are trying to invade England in 1588? Aaron. Spain. Correct. What nationality was the artist Michelangelo? Dan. Italian. Correct. Which word beginning with the letter M is a bend or a wiggle in a river? Anyone? 
It's meander. In relation to time, what do the letters PM stand for? Dan. Night time. Well, no, incorrect. Can offer it across. Grace. Past midnight. No, it's post meridian. In which winter sport do you hit a puck? Grace. Ice hockey. That's correct. What is four multiplied by 30? Alicia. I need an answer. OK, I have to offer it over, I'm afraid. What is four multiplied by 30, Aaron? 120. That is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> oh. So tense. Well done, everyone. That was incredibly exciting. You've all done brilliantly. But the winners with 39 points are... Milburn! <laughs> oh Bad luck, Greenland. Uh, you're going to be going home, but please give them a huge round of applause. They've done incredibly well. <laughs> Milburn, you're going to be back to take your place in the semi-finals, where you'll be joining St James Church of England Academy. You're another step closer to being top class. Leila, how do you feel? I feel excellent, but the other team deserve um, as much credit as we do because they did an excellent job. They did. They absolutely did. Aaron, you excited semi-finalist? Definitely. Yes. Miles? <laughs> yep. Really excited. And Grace? I'm ecstatic. You're ecstatic. Your buzzer technique practice <laughs> paid off. <laughs> well done. I'll see you in the semi-finals and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. On top class today, Ben, Sophia, Dan and Alicia playing for Greenland Primary School from County Durham. And competing against them are Aaron, Leila, Miles and Grace from Milburn Primary School from County Londonderry. But who will be top class? Welcome to Top Class, the search for the UK's smartest school. Let's meet our teams for this quarter-final. First up, last time they were here, they won their heat 22 to 21. After the show, they celebrated by walking through the wood at Kilhope Leadmine to a scary old cottage and were told that if they didn't do better in their science questions, they would have to spend the night there. <laughs> Quarter-finalist in Top Class, Sophia, how does that feel? Feels great. When you went back to school, was everyone really pleased? Yeah. You got through to the quarterfinals, yeah? Dan, tell me, who have you got sitting next to you? Lucky Lukey. Lucky Lukey. And that's the team mascot. Yeah. We named him after our, our reserve player, Luke. Oh, lovely. And uh, you're the team captain. You captained your team to the quarterfinals. That must have felt good, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Alicia, welcome back. Your tactic is to be fast on the buzzer, Alicia. Yeah. Have you been practising? A little bit. A little bit. I'll say now and then pretend to press the buzzer, OK? You ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> no! Yes. <laughs> Reactions of a cat, Alicia. Well done. <laughs> Please welcome Greenland Community Primary School from County Durham. <laughs> and playing against them are Milburn. They won their heat 27 points to 24, which their teacher, Mr McLean, said was all down to the three points he scored for them. <laughs> Aaron, welcome back to Top Class. What subjects did you enjoy in Top Class last time? Probably just the free throw buzzer round. That was because it can be very exciting uh, when the scores are quite close. Leila, captain mm -hmm. of Melbourne, have you changed what you're going to do with your team today or are you happy you've got a winning formula? Well, I'm happy we've got a winning formula. All you really have to do is remain calm. Geography's a bad one for you, though. 